Mark my words, next Halloween, I will come out with that meatball video. Welcome to my Halloween episode. Tonight, we will be serving... You. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Despite what the intro and the title of the video implies, I did not kill another human being to make meatballs. I'm gonna repeat that again. I did not use human meat for this recipe. Mama Susan, don't hit me with that yellow dollar sign. But suppose you wanted to know what a human meatball would taste like without actually, you know, grounding up humans. That's what I'm here for. All right, first things first, preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Do you think you're more racially tolerant than Americans despite your country's awful behavior towards Romani and Muslims? The number you're looking for is 205 degrees Celsius. Now, if you're still confused by human meat substitute, let me explain. I have here on this plate, one pound of ground veal and one pound of ground pork. Now, don't worry, I did not go out and kill anyone and ground them up to see what human would taste like, despite what my waistline implies. But no, instead I went on the internet and I uh, read interviews by former cannibals to say what human tasted like. And I also watched Vsauce's What Does Human Taste Like video. Human meat, if you were to cook it, tastes pretty similar to veal and pork. So let's take our meats and add them to a big mixing bowl. Uh, forget human meat. I think the real controversy is I'm using ground up baby cow. Oh well, no such thing as bad publicity. Now, a meatball isn't all meat. There's some other stuff in it too. For example, half a cup of panko breadcrumbs. Some prefer Italian breadcrumbs. Some prefer regular breadcrumbs. Also, you get to control the seasoning amount if you use plain breadcrumbs. Let's cr also crack in one egg. Three tablespoons of milk. A quarter cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Three cloves of garlic minced. Two tablespoons of chopped parsley. A teaspoon of oregano, fresh or dried, doesn't matter. One teaspoon of granulated onion. Quarter teaspoon of red chili flakes. One teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of freshly cracked black pepper. And now let's whisk all these ingredients together. All right, let's add our breadcrumb mixture to our meat. And using your hands, uh, better wash them. Don't want to make my meatballs too human-y. Wipe, 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 wipey. So, like I said earlier, mix everything with your hands. Alright, when the mixture is looking pretty homogenous, let's move on to the next step. Okay, I have here a half baking tray. And we're going to cover it in aluminum foil. Give everything a nice spray with non-stick spray. And uh, grab yourself a little cute human-shaped mold. Uh, link in the description. Since I don't want any holes being tearing this, put the dull side down, grab a handful of our meat, and just press it down into all the little nooks and crannies. Lift up, and boom, we got a little human meatball guy. Rinse and repeat. And here we are, all of our little meaty humans all laid out on our baking tray. 
Yeah, normally I would have shown you sped up footage of me placing the meat into the rim and whatnot. But uh, I didn't want to waste the camera's battery. Place our human meatballs in the middle of our 400 degree oven. And let that bake for 15 to 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, our meatballs are nice and done. And yeah, I know they don't look super caramelized, but you gotta remember, we used pork and veal. So don't worry if you're not getting to that infamous brownness you think you're getting with regular meatballs. All right, let this cool down. Okay, once the meatballs cool down and uh, most importantly, the oven stops making so much noise, we can move on to the fun part. Getting bloody. Take one of our meatball men, uh, make sure you scrape whatever this gunk is off. Onto the plate you go. Next, grab a knife and cut them in half widthwise. Next, and now for the um, blood, a nice, some uh, tomato sauce. Make sure you put it right in the crevice. And for the organs, I just took some pieces of cooked spaghetti and balled them up, so. And here we go. A nice Italian dinner Hannibal Lecter would love to chomp down. And now you know how to make human meatballs. And uh, this food's cold. That's the real scary thing about having to host a comedy cooking show. And while I was setting up all these lights, my food got cold. Nah, I'll still eat it. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. Making cooking spooky and meaning at this time. Thanks for watching! If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and support me on Patreon. Oh, CRJ! Oh, CRJ! Why don't you do more Halloween videos? Because the moment I turned 14, my parents crushed the Halloween spirit out of me. There, are you happy now?